All right, another unplanned video right here about another Detroit Lions defender. The $90 million man known as Trey Flowers will start training camp on the PUP list that's physically unable to perform with the shoulder injury, which he had rehab after the Patriots won the Super Bowl this year. That's the team he played with last year. Bob Quinn uh, and Matt Patricia were fully aware of the injury and knew that he was injured after giving him um um, they knew before giving him the $90 million contract. Well, let's talk about it. Motor City Sports Talk. Appreciate the love and support. Keep sharing the videos. Blessings to the brothers and sisters out there supporting the channel. And, um, yeah, it's off season. I don't really think, um, I don't really think he need to, he need as much, um, all, much training camp as, as a rookie or somebody that's in a second or first year in Matt Patricia system, let me say that first. He know the system. He understand the gap discipline. He understand I play my gap. I don't jump inside. I don't jump outside. I play my position. And his leadership can uh, come from the sideline. So I don't think this is catastrophic from a camaraderie standpoint. Um, he know the system. He know what to expect. He know the plays. Um, maybe getting familiar with the guys playing next to him. Uh, it could be anywhere from snacks, hand, uh, 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 any of those guys, Romeo Rockwa, Devin Kennard, he can go inside, outside, but, you know, obviously he need to be in some type of fitness, uh, to get that body ready for football shape. He can train all he wants to hit the treadmill, bike, lift, whatever he can do with the shoulder. Can nothing simulates, you know, as your, you know, simulates football shape. And that goes for basketball, too. You can't simulate basketball shape. You can try your best, but you can't simulate it. And that goes for basically all the sports, tennis, all that. But my my thing about this is that um, Bob Quinn took a lot of risks with some injury players, injury prone players this year, at least two of them that I can think of. And it may be some more. He took a risk with the $90 million man, Trey Flowers, which I wasn't a big fan of the sign up, but I understood it. He took a risk with Damian Mandola, who always injured. I wasn't even going to mention him. And he took a risk with Jelani Tavai, who was coming off a shoulder injury. I think it was. And shoulders are tricky. You know, if anybody that lifts weights, you know, usually when somebody mess up their shoulder or have rotator cuff surgery, especially the older you are, that's a hard injury to come back of. And the shoulder is made up a lot of small, of small bones. Now, you probably think that's probably the reason the Patriots didn't bring him back. No, the Patriots didn't bring him back. Bring him back because he's cheap and they got a foolproof system that work. You know, unless you're a fool, you know what I'm saying? I said, even if you're a fool, it, it'll make. It's a foolproof system. You can play football, play a gap, don't jump inside, don't jump outside, play your part. If it say stun on the inside, you stun on the inside. You just it's foolproof. But he taking a lot of risks this year. I mean, Bob Quinn out here playing uh, craps. He at MGM. You know, MGM don't show nobody really no love. He playing craps because they got it this way. All right, Snack say, Snack Harrison said he coming to camp, so that's a win. Darius Slay still up in the in the air. He got the same age in this uh, Snacks, Drew Rosenhaus. Right? He draft a tight end, TJ Hawkinson, which I'm going to do a video. If I squeeze another video in or later or early this morning, it's going to be about him other than the NBA video I promise coming. It's going to be about him because they say you need to temper your expectations for Hawkinson, which I knew that because it's tough being a rookie tight end. You don't hear a lot about a, a lot of great rookie tight ends coming into this league. They first year. It's a learning experience, especially with them playing the slot, playing the H back, tight end, blocking and all that other stuff. But uh, and he took a gamble by getting Jelani Tavani. And then the, the, the kid from Clemson had a uh, he had like a pectoral chest injury or something like that. So he took a lot of chances with injury with players that's injured or coming off injuries or just defensively looking at it. He took the Brian kid from Clemson to Lonnie with a shoulder and he took Trey Flowers just just to name three. Then you got two guys that ain't that's supposed to have been holding out. Harrison who coming, who missed minicamp, and Darius Slay who's still holding out. To be honest, man, it it do it, it, this 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 year kind of got I don't know working over it, man. It got some I don't know. And it got, like, they didn't make a lot of smart offseason moves just regarding injuries. But you know what? I can I can live with Trey Flowers being injured right now. If his shoulder come back 100% healthy, they don't rush him back, he'll be able to plug and play. And the good thing about him being injured, and I'm going to be on the positive side here, 
And that's just where I, this is where I'm rocking with him at because because he a veteran, he a champion, and then that's a long season. He needs some time off regardless. He needs the time off. You know, they play, Patriots make deep playoff runs every year. He need that time off to heal and, and 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 just to get a fresh body. You know what I'm saying? So a month off, six weeks off, even if he missed the whole camp and preseason, he'll be all right. He just played in January, you know what I'm saying? In February, excuse me. So he'll have some fresh legs and hopefully he heal up. But I know it's going to raise some suspicions because of the organization it is, the Forest Detroit Lions. And it just seemed like every team they touch turn, turn to stone or triple wood. But hey, it is what it is. I'll link the article in the description. Let me know what you guys think. Mother C Sports Talk. Appreciate the love and support. I'm going to try to squeeze that basketball video into that wheel and then the football video. I squeeze it in the morning or late tonight. But hey, one time for the one time. Mother C Sports Talk. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. All those links in the description. Quickest way to get in touch with us Twitter and the email. We go.